Sushi Waffles cooking section! <laughs> Alright everyone, before we start... Dude, why are you wearing a hat? Because I like it! Ah, I get it. But, why the towel? Because... It looks like... It looks like... It looks like... Section. So for today, we're gonna make okonomiyaki. What is okonomiyaki? Well, the direct translation is get all you, whatever you like, and grill that. So, but actually, to make it easier, it's just Japanese style pancake. For those who know about okonomiyaki, well, people who know about okonomiyaki, they be like, I want to eat it, but I don't know how to make it, or I don't have the, like the fancy. Ingredients like the tempura crisp or the bonilla flakes. Well, today I will teach you how to make okonomiyaki with local ingredients. So here are the ingredients that we will be using today. For the batter, you will need a quarter of cabbage, one green onion, three four cups of flour, a half a cup of water, and one egg. So we're gonna be cutting this cabbage. Cut your cabbage into a quarter and then cut the stems. The easy way of cutting cabbage is actually take a half of the cabbage and flatten it out a little. The reason why you do this is the flatter the object is, it'll be easier to cut the object because you don't have to lift the knife as much. Now cut your cabbage around a centimeter thick. After you finish cutting all the cabbages, cut into a third again. Next, cut up the green onion. The green onion doesn't have to be super thin, but cut around the same size as the cabbage. After finish cutting up the vegetables, put all the ingredients into the bowl and mix it up. The ingredient that was listed is just the basic and you can add additional ingredients if you like. You can put in tempura crisp, kimchi, cheese, shrimp, and anything you like. It's okonomiyaki. Put the things you like and grill it. But I will not take any responsibility with the outcome. So after you finish mixing it up, you want to heat up your fry pan and put in some of your oil. Any oil is fine. After the fry pan is hot, pour the batter. You can make it like two okonomiyaki with this load. Make a nice circular shape and have it around an inch thick. So after you get your batter on, next you put your meat. Today we'll be using bacon, but any meat will be fine. Then grill it for three minutes. So after three minutes, if you don't have confidence, try using these flippy thingy, flip it, and this maybe. Or if you if you look at cool and just do the flipping with your fry pan, I'll do that. Here, reduce the heat to medium and grill it for six more minutes. While we're grilling it, let's make the sauce. I mean, if you have the okonomiyaki sauce, like or the tonkatsu sauce, that would be easier. But sometimes you don't have access to it. So here's some local store ingredients that you can make. Something like an okonomiyaki sauce. For the sauce, you will need one tablespoon of ketchup, one half tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one half teaspoon of soy sauce, and one teaspoon of honey. Mix all the ingredients and you'll get your okonomiyaki sauce. So, six minutes has passed, so let's flip it over! Nice! So after you flip it, you want to grill two more minutes. Two minutes has passed, so let's put it on the plate. Yeah. So we're gonna put the sauce that we just made a moment ago. So for the additional topping, you could actually put mayonnaise. You could have either Japanese or American. They both taste good. Um, I'm gonna just put the Japanese one because it looks better. <laughs> A side note, if you have access and if you wanted to make it look more like an okonomiyaki that you could buy at the stores, you can put some bonino flakes and blue seaweed. Hey guys, if you like our video or would like to see more of our video, it would be great if you could press the subscribe button on the screen. See you next week.